Hey everyone, <laughs> my name is Spring Stingray. Uh, I'm going to be doing a Red Faction Any% speedrun for you for guys for the next hour. Um, I'm just going to pretty much jump right into this because we're a little bit behind. Mars. <laughs> so... One of the reasons why I picked Red Faction for a, uh... Sorry, I'm just adjusting audio levels. One of the reasons why I picked Red uh, Red Faction for a speedrun for Hackathon was that it's actually quite a cruisy uh, first speedrun. Oh, shit. So if any of you are... <laughs> Thanks, Hecky. Man, this is already a mess. So if any of you out there are like looking at speedrunning or anything anything like that, Red Faction's really easy to learn. There's quick saving and quick loading. The tricks are pretty cool. Um and nothing too complicated, so like it's more or less a uh really easy run to learn. So first up here, this uh, <laughs> mine is going to get bodied by a rocket launcher, which is actually a rocket launcher we need for the run. Um, I'm going to pick up, try and get a headshot on this guy, but he's usually a little antsy. So I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to check that I've got six and six in the chamber and nine reserve. Otherwise, I won't have like the full 20, 24 bullets or well, 24 rockets that I need. Um, jumping actually isn't faster in this game, it's just a nervous tick, really. Um, unless you're going uphills. If you're traveling uphills, it's faster to jump. If you're traveling downhill, it's actually slower to jump. Uh, but it's like, it's pretty minuscule, it, it doesn't really matter so much. <laughs> so there's a guard around the corner here with another rocket launcher. I'm just gonna try and get the headshot. I'm going to swing wide of this door here, because there's a guard that'll come through the doorway there and get in your way. And then there's also another guard who, like, just kind of eats it there. So yeah, I've got six, six in the chamber, eight in reserve. I need two to blow up this um, APC, I guess? If you don't actually destroy that truck, you die when you land on the, um, on that little land bridge below. By coming down here, we actually trigger an, trigger an elevator to start coming down this shaft here. So I can be as slow as I want to here, like, I'm kind of limited by how I'm... <laughs> Six in the clip, one in the hole. I'm kind of limited by how fast this elevator is, so... This is like a nice little chill time to, uh... Just... Wait. Excuse me, mate. But yeah, like Python said, Red Faction is super comfy. It's mostly just like holding down W and just going for it. Yeah, I haven't played the I haven't played multiplayer for Red Faction. Um only done the single player like speedruns. Um but this is like a pretty small, like, active community for the Red Faction multiplayer. So here I'm going to pick up a flamer off of the ground. Just kill that guy, because sometimes he gets in the way. And just come through here. <laughs> so, coming up is the barracks. Um, this is pretty standard stuff, just moving through these hallways. Just kind of run through these guys. Don't need to kill that guy, but he drops a health back, which is always nice. And I'm going to get out the shotgun at this point. So... 
there's actually a guard here who's like a bit of a juggernaut. I think, I think what happens is he's invincible for a few seconds. So if you like shoot him too early, he won't die. So you just got to wait for that. Definitely can't hear the game. Uh... Why all the saving? Um, it's just... Just making sure that, like, if I do happen to die for some strange reason, um, I can sort that out. I'm not sure why game audio won't be going through. Um, but there is a moment where I have to stand still in a few seconds, so I'll, I'll see if I can sort that out for you. Oh, I know why. So here I'm going to use a rocket launcher to blow a hole in the ground here. So part of Red Faction is like a little mining mechanic um, with like destructible terrain. And that just lets me get through into this uh, corridor down here and skip a little bit of the game. So up here I've got a... there's a little uh, cutscene. Yeah, the Geomod system. <clears throat> Where these miners are trying to escape through this shuttle. So I'm just going to take this moment to fix this audio issue for you. Faster. Yeah, make your own pathways. It actually doesn't get used as much as it should. Yeah, that's my own fault. I goofed. Sorry about that, guys. Maybe being slow isn't such a bad thing. Prepare to go! That explosion blew out the docking bay door. Security Boy, breach. So here is the first little out of bounds. So I'm going to stand on the edge of this elevator, press the use button, and... Miss. And miss again. And miss again. And miss again. There we go. Press the use button, that's gonna put me, like, drag me up through the roof, through the wall, and then I can just jump off of the wall into the next zone. That actually skips a fair amount of time. Um, oh, three health isn't a lot. This should be fine, though. As long as I don't get shot, it would be good. I'll be mashing quick save, though. <laughs> Half-Life 3 is looking great. Hey, come on, man. So there's a guard around the corner here who drops a health pack, so we're all good. Now here's another section with a Geo mod. So I'm going to climb up this ladder, aim at the wall just about here, and just make a little tunnel through into the, uh, into the next section. And that skips having to destroy uh, like a, a security robot there. All non-security personnel are required to return to their barracks for the This is like another section where we have to kind of wait. There's a little hole in the wall here that I'm going to come, like, crawl through. But it's just... Elevators, man. <laughs> there we go. Again, another little section with Geo mode. I'm just going to mine through the wall here. There are squads of miners somewhere ahead of you, Parker. Try to link up with them. So here, this is going to be the first time where I use the assault rifle. Careful down here, Parker. It's actually kind of funny. The, I find the assault rifle is it's not the worst weapon in the game, but it definitely gets like the SMG is way better. The SMG is more accurate. I think it does just as much damage. And it shoots faster as well. Go, go, go. Parker, we 
we need your help. We're trying to knock out an Ultor geothermal power yeah. plant in this sector. <laughs> if you can put a bullet in somebody's head, they will put them down, but... Major attack. Unless you're using burst fire, it's just inaccurate. Resistance. If you can help them take out the power plant, I can send more miners up to join you. Wait. There we go. So coming up is another little One of my squads is out of bounds. Inside the ventilation system. Can you help them out? This one's actually like pretty amusing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this fan to push me up through the up through the the shaft, and I'm gonna use that momentum hopefully to jump onto the next into the next shaft. I just kind of skip a little bit of movement. It doesn't save too much time, but it's, it looks cool. <laughs> Tell Eos we tried, but sniper. And then coming up is the geothermal facility, which has some like, at least for my own route, I use a lot of cool geothermal strats in here. So I'll be mentioning them as it happens. We tried, but. Sniper! Man, that guy's... Over here, so here I'm gonna... Just move through the hallways again. Try to jump over this uh, barrier. Get out the rocket launcher again. Reinforcement. So I'm gonna fire a shot at the corner of this panel here and then keep going. So in the geothermal facility, you need to disable five systems. It's basically go through like a few different rooms and. Man, I'm on one health again. Um. Uh, and just like press five buttons. So I'm, a lot of the time, I forgot to reload. A lot of the time, I'm just gonna be tunneling through walls, just like that. That guy always, he always gets my gets him away. This one's pretty precise. Like I popped it. That's fine. Yeah, convenient health. That goes pretty lucky. Okay. And then I'm gonna have to wait for this guy to finish talking. This this is the last button that we need to press. to sort destroy of the geothermal facility, and then I've just got to, like, book it out of here. But this is the point where I use a flamethrower, I just, like, I don't know, commit a few war crimes to get out of that room. And yeah, the, there's certain surfaces zealous on that aren't destructible, but for the most part they are. Yeah, just a few. <laughs> um, so this is the first section where we actually use a vehicle. For the most part, the vehicles in this game are slower than just running. There's like two that we just don't use. Um, but this one's a bit mandatory. But this is like a little submarine with a rocket system attached to it. It's actually pretty fun to move. There's a lot of inertia to it. Like, turning's quite slow. This part's pretty crazy. Also, <laughs> Monka S, 666 health total. 
You should see the research center in the cavern ahead. I'm just gonna kill that guard there because he drops a health pack, and sometimes I won't have 100 health here. But if you kill both of the guards on that uh, little travel later thing, um, there's a third guard that spawns in this doorway, and he'll get in the way. Um, I actually find this next section pretty interesting. So what happens is this mine miner here gives me a business suit and a silence pistol. And it's basically, uh, this is a high security area. it's supposed to be a little, like, 007 stealth section. But he, like, takes away all your armor and all your weapons and ammo. Um, and it's, like, an interesting little challenge. But we're just gonna move through these offices. Don't really care about being quiet. And coming up is the first elevator glitch. Oh, this guy's ammo. So I'm going to press the elevator button and like call the elevator, but I'm going to quickly duck out of it. Um, and that lets the level load in while I'm still able to run around. Just lets me save a few seconds. We're going to do it again here, but it's going to be slightly different. So when you load the game... I, I messed it up. When you load the game, the status of all the doors swaps. <laughs> like they'll close and open every time you load it. So a quick save, quick load will like... Open those doors for me, so I don't have to wait. Wait, you stop! Don't shoot! I can help you. I can help you. You're Griffin, right? Right. Deputy Administrator Griffin. Yes. Why do I need your help? Why do I need your help? One with the gun. I have. So Griffin is the reason we're coming through these office sections. He's got information for the Red Faction, so that um, the Red Faction can. Overthrow Altor's evil plans. What do you mean they set this He's up? actually a pretty cool guy. No time to I like him. Take me to Eos. I'll tell her everything I know. Explain it to me first. Explain it to me first. I'll tell you what I can in a way. But more guards are going to show up soon. This next and section like is run. basically like an escort, escort mission. To run, and you'll be the first to die. Put, Put that gun away. away. If the guards see it, we're both dead. You lead the way. That's a little less got mission, um, but basically all you have to do is make sure every guard in the way is dead. Just a few headshots. Griffin's gonna make his own way through, like he doesn't really get damaged during this, so I don't actually have to slow down for him. Shifty legs. And then we're gonna get get our minor suit back. The silencer actually doesn't make a difference with the pistol. I just put it on because it looks cool. Okay, move. So coming up is a little uh, little clip. It's like a little damage boost. It's the only point in the game where this happens in the run where we do this. But if you quick save and quick load while in front of this gate, you just move through it. You're dead. So I'm going to kill that guy to get his SMG, press a button here to unlock a door further up ahead. And there's a guard here that I want to kill while I'm outside of the door, because if I'm outside, Griffin will start following me. Stop. And then I'm also going to kill this guy because he'll follow me through. Follow me. There's a hidden door over here. Griffin's going to show me this hidden door. I'm going to get going. There's a checkpoint ahead. I'll and there's a checkpoint ahead and he'll wave us through. Yeah, the characters look really good. There's a couple of weird things, like the hands aren't too great. Um, but it's, not, it's actually like a pretty attractive looking like game. Have to blast through. So again, we're going to do a bit more Geomod stuff. Going to blow a hole in the wall of this. Get an SMG out. Do a combat roll in. Pick up some health. And get moving. The 
The launch bay is just down this elevator. Again, another elevator. Like, I'm not... There is a lot of elevators in this game. <laughs> so this next section is another little vehicle section. Um, I'm just going to kill that guy because he usually causes some problems. Griffin can die on this run to the... to the airship. We can't get out here. We can't get out here. <laughs> yeah, at least they're not like telling me like what's going on with the stone on the elevator rides. <laughs> yeah, Pigeon Eyes. This game came out during that like Half Life era where first person shooters were king. Like campaign based first person shooters. So there's a little section coming up here where there's about seven guards I need to kill before a cutscene happens. So I'm going to fire a homing rocket at this guy, gun this guy down, fire a second homing rocket at this guy, gun this guy down, fire a third homing rocket at this guy, come over here to spawn another one of them, gun this guy down, and then kill this guy. And that'll load the cutscene. So coming up here is like a little puzzle boss, um, and a little bit of supply collection. Facility, so that when I, I got the business suit, that miner took all of my ammo away from me. So I'm actually going to come up onto the roof here for a little cash, That's an Re replenish my health and armor, and pick up this rocket launcher. And we're going to get the submachine done. So this robot here, it's actually indestructible. Um, but it's got some triggers that are tied to how much damage you've dealt to it. So I'm going to spam some SMG shots at it. Um, so I deal enough damage. I'm going to go across this conveyor belt and climb up this ladder. I'm going to press these two buttons and wait. So that opens up a pit and turns on a fan that pushes it down into the, uh, into the pit. And when quick save, quick loader will explode. Like, that's the boss. It's pretty, pretty simple. Um, but it's pretty hard to get your head around. Yeah, yeah, Parker. Great job. You composed That's an ultra personnel suppression combine. I didn't know they had any on Mars. Shut up, Weasel. <laughs> if Eos didn't want you, you'd be dead by now. I'll decide when it's time to go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it's well, like I'm not caring. Every now and then they'll throw in a bit of comedic time in this game. It's like bad. Griffin, over here. We're here to take Griffin to Thank Eos. God. Thank God. <laughs> well, whatever. Let's get moving before security shows up. <laughs> Not you, Parker. Just the weasel here. Eos will contact you. Well, thanks, Parker. And good luck. And hey, don't you start calling me Weasel, too. <laughs> Great. Great. Screwed again. <laughs> Poor Parker. So I'm going to jump into the pit. Catch this ladder. And then... Wow! Fall the fuck off. That's okay. Parker, you're not far from Ultra's science and medical labs. You're somewhere above the med labs, yeah. Parker. The game's definitely a little bit tongue in cheek. It's not the most like serious affair. Help! Don't kill me. So now we're inside of a medical facility, and we're just gonna storm through, slaughter some you have to grab poor humans. Don't kill him. Hundreds of you know, committing more atrocities. This stuff is all pretty standard, you just kind of like move through these hallways. Parker, I've been 
studying the lab security system. There's a security door you have to pass. I'm gonna get the shotgun out here. I'm gonna blow this glass open because it's faster to go through the door. Get this guy out of my way. Jump up here. And there's a uh, a medical administrator here. I'm gonna kill him so I can get his key card off of him. Um, and then quick save, quick load, because it actually spawns the key card. I'm just gonna keep going. Like rip that guy, but it was in the way. <laughs> There was a medical administrator there. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna... There's an NPC up there that you shoot that starts the next cutscene. So these ugly son of a bitch is... Um... Cropax. Troubles have given me the perfect excuse to accelerate my experiments. No. Notice a few more Wait. I've totally forgotten his name. It's not Cropax. That's the next speedrunner. Oh my god, I just shaded Cropax so hard. Wait. No, his name is Cropax. Congratulations, Parker. I'm losing my mind. to see my nanotech shield in action. Now I must No, oh my god, I'm... Enjoy what little time you have left, you and your I think I... friends. KPEG. KPEG. <laughs> Thanks, Blathen. Man, that's my bad. <laughs> it's the Lorax. So during that section, you would have noticed I was wearing a medical lab... Uh, like a lab coat. So I'm going to get my armor back. I'm gonna get out this rock launcher and do some aren't any security jumps. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna jump into this hole so I can skip over this cap canyon. What if I shoot more? <laughs> and then this is a little skip that I actually found myself. So there's a, there's a trick called a water bounce, where if you are uh, if you quick save and quick load while standing on water, you bounce on it. And you can get some like pretty ridiculous height. So you can just like jump up onto the ledge here. Save a bit of time. You can there's another method where you can use a, a few geo mod like shots to get up there. I'm pretty low on health here. I'm coming up there to help you. Um but, uh, doing that bounces just a little bit faster. This is going to be a bit tight because I've only got 6 health. Which should be good. I don't usually get hit here. There's a couple of robots that we need to destroy to, like, open up the next section. I just quick save quickly because it like resets their firing animation. It's just a little bit of peace of mind. There we go. <laughs> Parker. So you made it past my little guards. <laughs> Welcome to my zoo. rocket jump. <laughs> nah. Actually, I found out recently that the Over rockets in this game actually have an excellent uh, time, they're affected by velocity. Feeding they drop. <laughs> Didn't expect it. Me, it's feeding time. Less metal, um, another GM mod section. Didn't mean to use an aid here, but... For some reason he got out the grenade. It's alright. Again, this is like standard, just running through hallway stuff. Both you guys. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'd call that a nade boost, but... <laughs>
Also, shoutouts to Printproof for donating $5 with a comment, Go Fast Spring. Thanks, man. Okay, I'm gonna get the SMG out here. There's another rocket launcher here that I need to pick up. That one's really important. I definitely need the, like, full 21, 24 shots at this point. Alright. And coming up is another water boost. This is one that I'm actually going to do a safety save for, in case I mess it up. Because you can't get back up. Enjoy your stay. You fail it. Someday soon. <laughs> Perhaps we will meet again, Parker. So yeah. You should, you hope, should hope not. not. Favorite line of the game is coming up here in a quick second. The delivery, the dialogue, up, the voice actor. It's all perfect. It all comes together. This is a feeding chute, Parker. Something is hungry. <laughs> Give up, miner. Scum. Actually, a really good one is... Help! Help! <laughs> okay, I kind of hug the walls there so I don't get hit by it. This, I, I actually didn't really look at it. But there's like a big worm that you're supposed to kill. You. Uh, but you just hug the walls and it doesn't really hurt you. I actually can't remember what this facility is called. But it's a similar- Oh no, this is Capex secret facility. Um, kind of another like, couple of hallways to run through, an elevator. I didn't need to kill that scientist there, I just did it. <laughs> I'm just a jerk. That guy needs to die. Crowpax's secret facility. I'm gonna geo-mod my way through this fence. I'm gonna get the assault rifle out again. Okay, kill this guy. Activate this elevator and step out of it and just stand here and wait for the next level to load. Uh, the man of the hour. <laughs> you ready for Resi 2, Crowpax? I'm gonna claim that guy. Don't hurt me. Kill that guy. That guy didn't actually get. Wow. What a champion. Get out of here. And then this is the, the Crowpax boss fight. Again, this time I'm just gonna flamethrower him. So Until he dies. Parker, stop! Parker, Don't stop! Kill Don't kill him! Don't, Don't kill, kill him. him? He's killed hundreds of miners. And hundreds more will die unless we find a cure for the plague. Oh yeah, the plague? They mispronounce plague. Save the miners who are dead already, but we might save those who are dying. Oh, a ZFG sub. Hope. <laughs> hope. Who has hope? <laughs> Hundreds of miners. If you have hope, you, you just, just don't understand, understand yet. <laughs> Plugu. <laughs> My work all gone. Kapek, the plague. There's got to be a cure. Simple, really. Stop the replicators. <laughs> but how? how? How do you stop, stop them? them? Antidote, of course. 
Oh. So this woman, um, she hasn't really had like a proper introduction because I've been talking over the top of her, but she's Eos. She's like the leader of the Red Faction. The Miners. She's like in charge of the whole um, mutiny. But she's actually, you'll see her skin's quite modelled. She's actually infected with the plague. Parker, you've got to get out of here. One of us has to live through this. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna, gonna leave. leave. No time to argue. Go out the way I came in. If I don't make it, you must tell people there's a cure for the plague. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Okay. Personnel have 60 seconds Parker, to evacuate. I'm gonna... Out the way I, came in. I don't need doors. I got holes in walls. So at this point, I'm gonna get the sniper rifle because, um... This section coming up has a few, like, long shots that I need to make. So one thing about Red Faction is... Your movement speed's pretty consistent. Parker, Orion says Eos was planning um, to bring a computer disk to Alto's communication center. So even when you're, like, Eos had contacts in the Earth scoped in, force. you move at the same, you move at the same walking speed. So I can miss these shots as much as I want, I won't really lose any time. So, first up, that guy needs to die. Not for any reason, <clears throat> he just called me a traitor. <laughs> um, but there's a guard in this sniper tower over here that I need to get. It just causes me a few issues. And we're gonna get out this grenade. So coming up is a pretty sick uh, geo mod skip. So first up, I'm gonna climb up this ladder. And blow a hole in the wall here. So I can jump onto this side of the, the, the canyon and get up onto this path here. And I'm going to get out the rocket launcher. So you see I've got 22 shots. That's like two more than I should need. I'm going to line up with this texture here and just start tunneling. <laughs> This time was actually like pretty lenient. So what I want to do is I want to have one rocket left over. Um, once I get out, so I'm a little bit too far to the left. So I'm just going to use these grenades to adjust. There we go. Boring. Come on, this is a pun free chat. Chill out there, Grey Fox. You're in, Parker. Now for the hard part. The console you need to reach is at the highest level. But that's probably like the biggest Geo mod skip in the game. You just like go through that wall. Now at this point, there's a new enemy type that's introduced, introduced, which is, are these mercenaries. They have slightly more armor than the um than the guards, and they also pack Parker, more powerful weapons. In the comp They're starting to appear all over the comps, taking over from the security. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> This guy needs to die. This guy needs to die. I'm gonna get out the precision rifle, which is one of the weapons that the mercs bring to the uh, bro bring, brought to Mars. Blackjack. I only played this game pretty recently. Like I played it for the first time right before learning the speedrun, and it blew my mind. Still, it's heaps of fun. Um, the gunplay always feels all feels great. And the actual storyline is pretty, pretty fun too. The airlock of the tower space is open. I have to keep the 
So basically the strat from here on out is like headshots only. Couldn't move around. Okay. Remember the miners on the shuttle that got blown up? To get you to the space station safely, we need to take out Alto's missile defense system. <laughs> Yeah, rail drivers. <laughs> Spring is really good aim. The rail drivers, they're a one-shot kill. So if you get hit with a rail driver, it's game over. Um, luckily, the enemies are pretty poor aim, so they usually kill. But whenever you see those blue lines, it's like, oh god. So there's two guys in here. See ya, boys. And this section is actually pretty cool. This is like a little, uh, like a rail system. And so the idea is... Code yellow alert. Intruder in tramway system. Security response level two. You catch this tram and you just like ride it through. It's pretty interesting, like there's a few different areas that you stop by, that you like get some ammo and stuff from and do little missions at. Parker, EOS here. Found the antidote formula and got out of there. Glad to see you made There is a fusion rocket, Electrion. Um, it's not actually used in the run. But it's basically like. But you've oh, got to get up to that space rocket. station and disable the laser. Yeah, it, it just fires a massive rocket. If that defense system is still working when the EDF fleet shows up, they'll get blown out of the sky. <laughs> yeah, Half Life is. Red Faction is a fever dream that Gordon Freeman had. So again, I'm just, I'm standing here waiting on the tram. It stops here for a few seconds, there's like a guy who shoots the chair here. He really doesn't like that chair, but I'm just waiting. I mean, I mean, that's not too bad, but... Oh, that was close. Oh, also, this rail driver, this gun I'm using, can shoot through walls, which is an awesome mechanic. Yeah, Starstruck. Yeah, it's right on time. <laughs> Alright. So, coming up, um, I need to sabotage, like, a missile defense system and make it explode. It's going to fire the rockets into the, like, inside of their chambers. But there is a lot of mercs between me and there. But I'm lucky I've got this heavy machine gun. I've got 99 rounds in the, the command the on my belt. <laughs> so I'm just gonna jump through this window, press this button, come through here, and just I can pretty much hold down left click. Heavy machine gun's my favorite weapon in the game. You, Pretty much every F like FPS, if there's an LMG, I'm like into it. <laughs> Manual launch override engaged. Thirty seconds until launch. I don't play Rainbow Six Siege, but if I did, I'd be a Tachunk, a Tachunka main. So yeah, heaps of guards there. Of mercenaries. This is for you, mom. <laughs> but again, you just made made it go through. Ten seconds until missile launch. Parker, are you still there? Stop standing around and get going. You don't see it, but you actually crash in the train there. Timer for the shuttle lift on your hut. You can still make it if you hurry. This next section's a bit of a like. I'll, it's a bit. Don't stop for anything, Parker. You don't have bit average. Left. It's this massive canyon, Double and casually you're supposed soccer. to like get in a big a heavy weapon squad to tank you. and like drive through this section and just like wreak havoc. It's pretty fun casually, um, but the pe the tank's movement speed is actually slower than. Parker's, like, foot speed. 
So it's basically like I just I just run free go. Die, miner. Yeah. Like, LMG if you just want to spam and like kill a few guys. But like, the marksman rifle is king. And if your aim's good, the pistol is pretty good as well. Go for it, Bakuman. Quest away. <laughs> Mine diner. <laughs> no, the C4 is not actually. We don't even pick up the C4 in the speedrun. Which is a bit of a shame. Um, but the, the rocket launcher pretty much like does everything that any of the other explosives do, so we don't need them. But yeah, like I said, this, this section is just like running through a big tunnel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, um, when I first started speedrunning this game, I was like, showing my brother it? And I showed him the like, because you can throw C4 onto enemies and civilians and it like sticks to them and they have a, they have a special animation for it. And <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> Okay, here I'm gonna get out the riot shield. It's the only point in the game where it's used, but there's a chance there's a guy with a railgun here that usually just like snipes you. So using the riot shield there just makes sure that like you don't get bodied. Parker, find a place to hide before the shuttle takes off. Hurry. So coming up we're gonna hop into a space shuttle. That's going to launch us into a space station um, that's like orbiting around Mars. You've got to this is actually pretty cool. For this section of the game, they actually changed the gravity. So, like, you have a really high jump height um, and a really slow falling speed. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I was actually I wasn't actually going to do this. So the idea is you're supposed to self-destruct the uh, space station at this point, and during like a normal speed run, you would trigger the self-destruct, move, and then move through, because um, you have enough time to get off the space station in that. But I'm doing marathon safety strats. I'm going to come back at the um, when I'm done up here, so that I don't like accidentally kill the run. Look for over that did it. The station's lower section should be open now. So yeah, basically what you do is you have enough time when you're falling to like adjust. So you can like wait until you get as low as you want to, and then grab the ladder. So there's two buttons in here that you need to press that'll like self-destruct the space station. So this one... Yeah, marathon safety strats. I'm sorry, I'm a coward. Through and through. I was born a coward, I'll die a coward. My father was a coward. My father's father was a coward and his father before him. I come from a long line of cowards. Parker, I've lost contact with the Rift Master Base. I can't raise <laughs> Eos, Orion, or anyone else there. There's two railguns here. They usually... They can, like, kill you pretty badly, but... That's the space station done. <laughs> Calm down, cover. Escape pod number two. Detaching. Detaching. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. 
detach. So a while ago I did a uh, a pretty serious um, geomod skip by tunneling through a cliff face. Now what I've done is I've made sure that I kept one rocket left over, because I need one more rocket left in the run. Which I'm going to use in a couple of seconds here. I'm going to kill this guy. Reload my gun. I'm going to get up my trusty rocket launcher. I'm just going to do a quick save here. I'm just going to shoot the wall. And I'm going to use that hole to just like give myself a little edge to boost myself up. And then again, we're just going to be running through a couple of corridors. Drop down here. There's a few mercs coming up. They're actually invincible. You can't kill them. Um, but it's alright. They don't actually... They don't aggro onto you. You can just run past them. They're kind of like cinematic. Surrender! Surrender! And then coming up uh, for the second time in the run in the game, they'll actually they take away all of your ammo. Oh, actually, no, sorry. There's a there's a pretty cool jump here first. It's not too difficult, but it's like pretty sick. <laughs> it's kind of tight, but you just like jump across the gap by jumping off the railing. It's, it feels good to do. So yeah, coming up the. The game takes away all your ammo again. Um, which I actually really appreciate. It lets the uh it lets the players like Evacuation notice. have to all worry about not having anything for a while. Into evac transports. Like no armor, no ammo. It's really fun. <laughs> Hardcore Parker Parkour. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, Hold buddy. Over there. So, yeah, get, you get captured you by the mercs. They, they take all of your in. equipment away. Blood and puke. Drag you in. You You're all blood and puke. You up. Don't know why they bothered. They're just going to kill us all anyway. Something big is happening. Lots of mercs running around. Moving stuff. Don't know what it is. But I bet Red, Red Faction. Faction. Which one of you is Parker? So I'm gonna kill this. Oh, I'm gonna pick up this guard's precision rifle. Miss my headshots. Oh, wait a Oh, jeez, this isn't good. I can see you on monitors. There's a squad of miners with me. The whole base is crawling with mercs. This should be fine. These guys in the next room drop some ammo, and I don't usually get shot by them. Drop some health, I mean. So there's my armor. So I pick up a flamer there. I'm gonna use that on the final boss. I'm gonna do a elevated glitch here. Get over here. I'm gonna pick up that health. There's plenty of health in this section. Like, I had you all worried, but really, I stressed you out for no reason. Okay. I'm gonna get the railgun out here, and I'm gonna shoot two guards through the wall here, and hopefully three. They're kind of lined up, and sometimes you can get a double. And then I'm gonna come back in here, get rid of that because it's annoying. Who are you? <laughs> was never worried. Easy. Oh, and I'm gonna wait here for some guards to spawn in. <laughs> These two. And now an NPC, Hendrix, is here to help. Black guy. Death to miners. Oh. I was certain you were dead, mate.
Yeah. Rest in peace, Hendrix. We hardly knew you. Oh no, I missed! Get out of here! Yes, in Ren Faction 2, there was the Earth Defense Force. They kind of replaced. You alright, Hendrix? Come on, man. They replaced uh, Hurry, Parker. the UFC Run as the like the antagonist. Oh, look at this. Us. Hendrix has finally come out of hiding. <laughs> There's a guy back here who's like... He's not too annoying, but he comes back later on and like, I just might as well kill him. Just kneecap him with sort of like 10 times. So coming up here is actually... I... When I first played this game, I didn't realise that you're supposed to call in one of these spaceships to you? No way. I'm trying to tell a story. Um, I didn't realize you were supposed to use one of these spaceships. So I did this next section on foot, and oh my god, it was so much fun. It was actually, like, incredibly fun. Because casually, it, it felt like... You know, this is the last thing, this is like the last stand. You just gotta get through these hallways and like, gun everyone down. And there's like, no health drops. And it was actually really tough. Um, and then I was told that I was stupid. And that I had missed a spaceship. <laughs> and I was like, ah, I'm stupid. I didn't know I was stupid. <laughs> yeah, you can use these, Icarus. It's actually pretty fun too. There's a nice crunch sound when you run over people. It's kind of quiet. So yeah, I'm just going to move through these tunnels. I don't go above because there's some spaceships that'll hurt us. Um, and in this room, there's two other spaceships that I've got to destroy. And then a third one which spawns in. Maybe I'll pay a visit to your parents when I get back to Earth. Now this is Masako. She's the final boss. There won't even be a body for them to sob over. You so I'm gonna the the will be hold down left blast. and right click when the game loads in, and just like destroy a spaceship. And then I'm just gonna hold down the flamethrower. And what happens is the flamethrower is actually active, or is actually damaging her no matter where I'm standing. So it's always damaging her shields. And then once the shields are down, I'll just like, you know, I don't know, put a laser through her body. And just that easy. Now coming up is the only RNG section of the game. I have to guess the diffuse code for this bomb by pressing the arrow keys. Come on. Is this like Okay, not so. 30 seconds until detonation. Oh my god. Joking it. And that's stopped counting down. Time. Did I disarm it? Yeah, let's go with that assumption. Hey, the antidote works! The antidote works! Yeah, it seems to. Mind getting out of my face? Is it live split? We've got medics live delivering into running. sick on, miners man. all over the complex. The plague will be history by tomorrow. There we go. And that's Red Faction. Okay, so what's the deep- It's a really easy speedrun. If anybody's interested in getting speed- in getting started in speedrunning, like, 100% recommend it. You can watch the world record boards and you can learn it off of that. I'm just gonna just shut them up. Yeah, you can learn it off of the world record run and get a pretty competitive time, and the Red Faction community is really nice too. So yeah, that's me. Up next we've got Cropax who's gonna be doing Resident Evil 2.